Welcome! CPA Planet lessons help you get more points on your CPA exam. These lessons provide clear explanations from the student's perspective, visual learning, and we even try to make it interesting and entertaining. Enjoy the lessons and pass the CPA exam. Okay, we're studying deductions now. Let's start with the big picture. Deductions and where do they fit in the tax big picture? Look at our little chart below. We always start with gross income. Then we have adjustments to arrive at adjusted gross income, and we arrive at gross income, adjusted gross income. Next is standard deduction or itemized deductions. That's where we are right now. That comes after adjusted gross income. Then we have exemptions, taxable income, tax rate, tax payable, credits, tax payable. Okay, now terminology note, this is very important. It's more important in the adjustments lesson. Deductions are sometimes referred to as below the line deductions. Uh, in, in these lessons, we refer to deductions as deductions. We refer to adjustments as adjustments. We try to clarify which are which because they're distinct, they're different, they're not the same, so they're not both deductions. A lot of lessons and even the CPA exam itself make uh, this a little more gray than it should be. So these are deductions. So uh, first question always with deductions is standard deduction or itemized deduction. Every taxpayer has a choice. So if the, if the itemized deductions are less than the standard deduction, then the taxpayer will normally choose to take the standard deduction because it's larger. Acting rationally, he'll do that. If the itemized deductions are more, if you take all the itemized deductions together, if they're more than the standard deduction, then most taxpayers will take the itemized deduction because it's a larger deduction. So the standard deduction amount it's based on the filing status of the taxpayer, whether the taxpayer is a dependent, the age of the taxpayer, blindness, and its index for inflation. The 2015 amounts are, as you see, single 6,300 head of household, 9,250, married filing jointly or surviving spouse, 12,600, and finally married filing separately, 6,300, same as single. Plus... 65 or older, you get an additional deduction, depending on status. If you're blind, you get an additional deduction, depending on filing status. And if there's a disaster loss, additional deduction. So this is your standard, those amounts above, plus possibly additional ones for the three categories here. Okay, the standard deduction additional items we alluded to earlier are, if you're age 65 or higher, then you get an additional standard deduction on top of your normal standard. If you're single or head of household, you get 1550 Married filing jointly, either spouse, increase it by 1,200. Married filing jointly, both spouses, increase it by 2,400. Mathematically simple, it's either 1,550 or 1,200 or 1,200 times 2. Must be 65 as of the end of the tax year. January 1st is also acceptable. Okay, blindness. Single or head of household, 1,550. Married filing jointly, exactly the same amounts, 1,200 or 2,400. So we got 65 plus and blindness. 1550 and 1200. You need a certified letter from an eye doctor. And then finally, disaster loss. You can increase your standard deduction by a disaster loss due to a federally declared disaster. Hurricane Sandy, for example, something along those lines. Same amount you'd report as an itemizer.